One-on-one -on -one instructors like Melisi teach children with autism how to communicate. Are we going to Tato's place? Hi, Tato. Every day she visits Tato in Tempiza Township. He stopped talking when he was two, but it wasn't until he was four that he was diagnosed because his mother thought he was just confused by the number of languages he was being exposed to at daycare. Oh, it was bad. I felt terrible. I thought it was the end of my baby's world. Yes, I never thought maybe there will be a help. Tato finds it difficult to focus, but Melisi has been able to help him see things clearly and to vocalize. He's among a handful of children receiving one-on-one -on -one help in this township thanks to a charity. There are very few government facilities for autistic children, and those that do exist are schools where children are taught in classes. Initially, um, people would say their children are bewitched or why wasn't she taking care of herself when she was pregnant or there's a lot of different things that are going around because people don't quite understand um, what autism is. Anna says six children a week are diagnosed as autistic in the local hospital but the charity only has money to help 10 at the moment. There are no reliable national statistics in South Africa for the number of children with autism but in the United States, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says one in 68 children is autistic. I want you to tell me so the number of undiagnosed children is likely to be high. For parents who can afford it, they can send their children to private facilities like this, where David uses a tablet to communicate. Do you want to go outside or do you want to play with your stickers? Stickers. With the right attention and tools, children with autism are learning how to navigate their way through the world. Without it, they'd be isolated and would never reach their full potential. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.